Hi everybody, today's recipe I'm going to be making a gluten-free oven-baked fried eggplant for you. We're going to coat this up with a nice breadcrumb seasoned you know, coating, dipped in egg too of course, and uh, we're going to bake it in the oven to make it a little bit healthier for you. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm going to show you how to do it right after this. Here are our ingredients that we're going to need for our recipe. First off, I've got some panko gluten-free uh, breadcrumbs here that you can get online. That's where I got mine. I'll leave a link for you in the description of this video and you can find that. I also have some gluten-free flour here. This is an all-purpose flour that I picked up at Trader Joe's. We'll need a couple of eggs, an eggplant of course. We'll need some olive oil. I'm using an extra light which uh, works well in this recipe. And over here I have some Italian seasonings that I put together myself. Uh, I like to do that so I can con control the ingredients and again that will be in the description of this video. We'll need some salt and some butter. We're going to start off here by slicing up our eggplant. Now we want to cut this somewhere between one quarter of an inch to a half an inch thick. We don't want them too thick and we don't want them too thin because if they're too thin they're going to burn and if they're too thick they don't cook so well. And then we're going to place each piece onto, I have a wire rack here, and I'm going to spread them out, and I'm going to sprinkle some salt on them. Now what that's going to do is it's going to help draw out some of the moisture from the slices of eggplant so that, you know, it will crisp up a little bit easier. Now we're going to let the eggplant rest now. It's going to sweat for about 20 to 30 minutes, and hopefully we'll pull out a lot of that moisture so they will crisp up. It's been 30 minutes for our eggplant to sweat a little bit, so I'm gonna place it into a colander, and I'm gonna rinse the excess salt off. I'm gonna let that drain, and then we're gonna pat them dry. Now that the eggplant is ready to go, we're almost ready to start dipping it. But first, we gotta preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and we need to prep our baking pan. So we're gonna coat it with just a little bit of olive oil, just a nice thin layer. All right, we're ready for dipping. Okay, so what we wanna do here, I have my flour and my panko crumbs here, and we wanna combine the two together. And we're gonna add in the Italian seasoning. So we'll take our eggplant and just place it right into the egg mixture. Use your hands as long as they're clean, and then we're just going to coat each piece. And place it right on our dish. Now we don't want to crowd these together. We're going to keep them, you know, plenty of space between them. So probably because they're so large, I'm going to have to go uh, probably two in a row. Now the last thing I want to do is take a little bit of butter, nice thin slices, and place them on top, just a little bit. These are like paper thin. All right, these are going in the oven for about 20 minutes. Now I also turned the eggplants over after about halfway through their cooking time, so check that out and make sure you do that as well because it browns up more on the bottom. All right guys, here you go, our little Oven fried eggplants are done. They, uh, they stayed in there for about, oh, I would say 35 minutes. I like mine really crispy and brown, sometimes even on the verge of burning them a little bit, but that's what I like. So anyway, these look fantastic. Look at this. They just pop right off the, the tray there. And they're nice and crispy. And guys, this would be great as an appetizer or just a snack or, you know, whatever you want, a side dish even. I want to give it a taste. Mm. Hear that crunch? Love it. Absolutely love this. The Italian seasonings, you definitely got to put that together. Check it down below in the description, guys, that all those ingredients are down there for you. This is really good. Very delicious. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it when you guys you know, stop by and take your time to watch my videos. I really do appreciate it. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, please share it. Give me a thumbs up. And of course, always leave me a comment. I love to hear from you. And if you do make this and you take a picture of it, 
go ahead and hashtag me at Rock and Robin Cooks. I'd love to see what you guys, you know, come up with. And like I said, there's lots of variations on this. You can add to this at this point. You could add even some pasta sauce with a little shredded mozzarella and it would be really just delicious. So thanks again for watching everybody. We'll see you next time.